Hello friends, today we are doing a Pilates and a yoga repertoire and we're going to use this chair. So it's going to be a nice workout for your core. We'll do some deep stretches, we'll do some arm work and leg work. We'll do some somatic movement too. So we'll slow things down and go inward. I'm Rebecca and this is Body Illumination. If you're interested in more of these videos, definitely check out the links below. For today's practice, you do need a couple of blocks and a chair. Let's get started. Sit up nice and tall at the edge of your chair and take your hands onto your thighs, lengthen through the spine, look up, and then round through the spine, tuck your chin towards your chest. Inhale, lift, and exhale, round. And again, inhale, look up, Exhale and round. Good. Now inhale, lift up and reach the arms up, lengthen, and then exhale, take it all the way back. Inhale, lift up, lift all the way up, stretch your heart open, and then exhale, come on down. Inhale, lift, exhale and lower. Inhale, lift, and last time, exhale, lower. And take your hands onto your thighs. Inhale, roll yourself up. Exhale, twist over towards your right side. Sit up nice and tall. Lift your chest. And then come through to center. Take a breath here, inhale and exhale. Just centering yourself on the mat, twisting towards your left. Inhale, as you exhale, spiral, look over your shoulder. And then gently come through to center. Take a breath here. Okay, and let's, Gently come towards the edge of our mat. So take your hands onto the edge of the chair. Take your feet forward. Let's bend the left leg to start. Take that right leg and lengthen through. A little external rotation. Open the chest, lift the leg, and lower. And lift. And lower. And lift. And lower. Now connecting to the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Slide the leg, left leg long, externally rotate, lift the chest, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Squeeze that thigh muscle, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Just stay with the breath, friends. A couple more, if you need to take a break, take a break, inhale, Exhale, one more, inhale and exhale. Bend the knees, keeping the hands right at the edge of the chair. If you have your block, you're gonna put the block right between your knees. We're gonna turn on the core muscles with that block. Nice and slow, take your hips forward, hands at the other edge of the chair. Now inhale, go down one, two, three, four, and go up one, two, three, four. So it's an inhale on the way down and an exhale on the way up and squeeze the block. And again, go down nice and slow. Squeeze the block, lift up slow. Using your body weight, take yourself down slowly into the earth and then come on up, exhale, squeeze the block. Again, lower down nice and slow and squeeze the block, press up. And again, lower, 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 and lift, lift, lift. Now this time, go down slow, friends. Stay here, squeeze the block for four, for three, for two, and for one, and then push all the way up. Come back, have a seat, keep the block where it is, take the right arm across your body, and then reach your left arm behind you and give yourself a nice little stretch. So friends, if you don't have the block, available, you are welcome to use a pillow or nothing at all, or even a piece of clothing is works well too. 
and then let's change sides take the left arm up and over give it a nice little stretch feel that tricep muscle turn on then come back up and let's drop that block down for a moment and we're gonna come on up turn around and take our hands onto the edge of the chair holding here in a high plank let's do a slight turn out okay so heels together toes apart make sure you steady your hands at the edge of the chair keep a nice turn out lift the right leg and lower and do the right leg again five more times ready five four three two and one steady the pelvis left leg ready six five four three two and one good keep everything like it is just bend the leg same thing press up six and five four three two and one and lower down left leg bend the leg and press up six five four three two and one good now sink back into your hips so you're going to straighten your legs and stretch out the upper body keeping the hands on the chair for a little bit of support and also to open up that chest breathe here and gently rock from side to side And then roll yourself all the way up again and then take your hands back onto the chair. We're going to turn so that you have the right leg on the chair and it's staggered just like if we were sitting, sitting down in towards the earth and sit up nice and tall. We're going to work that left leg from here. Okay. So you're not going to get a big lift, right? Because we're seated so high up, you're going to lift and lower. Can you feel that? If you're seated, your right butt cheek is on the chair, left butt cheek is off, and you can keep your hand to your hip and lift and lower, lift and lower. You feel that? Lift and lower, lift and lower, and lift and lower, and lift and lower. Two more, lift and lower. Lift and hold, and hold five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now reach around and see if you can grab onto your foot. If you can't grab your foot, just hold your leg bent just like that. And you're going to push your pelvis forward. So you get a nice stretch here through that hip flexor. Now, before we go on to the other side, bring that leg up and around, cross it over like the number four shape and fold forward. I'm getting right into that hip. And then roll yourself up. Okay, let's do the other side. So again, you're going to turn and you're seated right at the edge of the chair. Hand can come to your hip or you can hold on to the chair, whatever works, and lift and lower. Can you feel it right back here? Lift and lower and lift and lower and lift 
and lower good now keep going if you need to take a break take a break see if you can activate back here as you lift lift and lower maybe even bend the knee subtly if you're feeling it too much in the thigh so you can bend the knee just a little bit to help you get back here and lift and lower now lift and hold and hold and breathe for four for three for two and for one now release the leg bend the knee grab onto the top of your foot hold for a moment and then turn again let's take that foot into a number four and fold forward Now let's move back into the arm work again, friends. So we're gonna come on down this time and you're gonna come back into that little tricep dip, right? You're holding here and we're going to just pulse up nice and slowly for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now quick ones, eight, seven, six, five, four the hips aren't moving it's the arms three two and one now stay and hold just a little bit up so you can feel the musculature and then sit back good take the arms forward round through the upper body and release come all the way up to sit okay now we're going to take the left leg out take the right leg over it sit up nice and tall bend the right leg so your legs are crossed, bend the right leg and slide it up the left leg and then lower it back down. Now keeping your body nice and elongated, zip up through your core from your pubic bone to your navel and lift and lower. Squeeze and then imagine your legs are gluing towards each other. Again, pull them apart and lower them down. And again, lift and lower and pull them apart and then cross it over and again lift and lower really cinch your waist lift and lower one more time lift and lower right leg comes down left leg comes over sit tall cinch the waist pull up and lower down suck that navel in towards your spine pull up and lower down and again, lift and lower. Inhale, exhale. Inhale wide across the ribs, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, one more, inhale, exhale. Good, uncross the legs. Keep the heels together, toes apart, slide them back out, come on back out into that plank, okay? So lift your hips up nice and high, hold here. Now lift the hips just about two inches and then back up and lower and lift and lower. Lift nice and slow, lower lift cinch the waist wrap right around those hips lift up and lower lift up 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 and lower lift up 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 and then hold slide the right leg out so imagine you're just sliding you have that external rotation you're sliding the foot to the outside of the leg and back down and change left leg and lower and right and lower and left and lower and right and lower hips up they might be sagging pull them back up right lower left lower inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale one more on the left side and exhale good come on back just take yourself onto your thighs, lift your heart up 
and gently dive down in towards the earth, right between your legs, or you can take your hands onto a block, just like this, okay? And just fold nice and deep, getting into those hips. Hang over the chair. Oh, this feels really oozy in those hips. Now come on over to your left leg and pause here. Shake out your head yes and no. Maybe a nice sigh. <sighs> Come on over to the right side. Same thing, just sink into the earth. Maybe shake your head yes. Maybe shake it no. Sink in a little bit deeper. come through to center roll yourself all the way up now keep your chair with you friends we're going to take it so that you can straddle it okay and we're going to sit down sit up nice and tall hold the chair up and then round through the spine scoop into the belly and come back up then go over to the left, over to the right, and back to center. So you're making a nice big circle. Go to the right hip, back to the left hip, and center. Now make sure you're comfortable on that chair so that you don't fall off, okay? So that's why we're holding on to the back. Nice and slowly, come on back. And then lift center. Scoop into the belly. And come center, do it again come around and come center. Now take your arms, you can hold them here or you can hold them here. You're gonna slowly scoop and come back. Feel that C curve and come back up, okay? Let's hold the arms here if you'd like. So go to the point where you, you know you're not gonna fall, okay? You should feel stable and come back up. Scoop into the belly. So it's like that C curve and scoop. Navel in towards your spine and scoop so we're keeping the c-curve the whole time scoop in if you're not familiar with pilates if you're more of a newbie no big deal you want to think about scooping into the belly so you're creating a c shape with your spine shoulders come onto the back body try not to push them forward scoop and come back exhale up inhale down exhale inhale exhale scoop in deeper imagine you're rolling yourself up over an imaginary watermelon and come back and again forward and back now hold back very very tiny okay you're gonna hold this inhale exhale lift the right shoulder towards the left come to center very small left shoulder come to center and right shoulder Come to center, small friends, lift and lower and lift and lower. Keep it small, lift and lower. See if you can close your eyes, pull the navel in just a little deeper. Make it smaller and make sure you're scooping and hollowing your abdominals, okay? Exhale, inhale exhale inhale and exhale okay let's come back towards center take a nice delicious side bend up and over to your left side so stay here or come to here maybe reach that arm up and over and spiral open mm, feel those obliques opening up Put your hand on the chair, come on up, and let's change sides. Come up and over, maybe take the hand down. Maybe take that arm up and over. So you might be here, you might be up here, wherever feels good. Just feel some spaciousness in that side body. 
Hmm. Those of you who are really mobile, you might even come a little bit deeper into the earth. come back up through to center. Okay, friends, close your eyes, look from side to side. Take your hands to your heart and thank yourself. Thank you. If you enjoyed this, definitely comment below and you'll see more Pilates with our chair. Pilates and yoga. Namaste, friends. <laughs>